older people, and we're in partnership with about 25 churches and synagogues across the Lehigh Valley, and they have volunteers that can actually help an elderly person go through a computerized program to make sure that they are receiving all the benefits that are due to them. We average about $5,000 of benefits to each individual that goes through the program. To each individual? Yes, it is phenomenal how well we've done. And we're able to help them find cheaper medicine, uh, fuel assistance, um, rental assistance, uh, just supports that will give them a better quality of life. And it takes the information or the programs that are available nationally, statewide, and locally so that they're maximizing what is going to be offered to them. That's for, that's for people of what age? Well, it's actually for anybody with disabilities. Oh. And it's for people 65 and older is where we've really targeted our efforts because we think that as, I mean, uh, um, Pennsylvania has the second highest number of retired people next to Florida and so we know that there are a lot of people out there with some pretty significant needs and so we've really targeted 65 and older. And so the, I was going to say the hard part is you know some of the older folks don't have access to computers and that's where our volunteers come in to either they don't have access to computers the volunteer will help them with that or sit with them you know at vari these various locations so that they can get access to that information and figure out what benefits are already out there they just don't know about. So the benefits checkup they, that folks watching could find out by either calling or if they do have a computer access, checking your website of how to access that program and you're averaging $5,000 a person in new benefits. Pretty phenomenal. Yeah. It, <clears throat> so anybody who hasn't gone through that is watching has, well, they just ought to. And right? they, can, <laughs> they can contact our local United Way um, by just calling. Yes. And when they call, someone there will be able to get them to a local church, synagogue, synagogue or senior citizens organization, any one of those that can put them in touch with how to do the benefit checkup. Well, <clears throat> there's another initiative that I know a lot less about, the Community Partners for School Success. Uh, What's going on there? Looks like you're on top of that one, Dolores. Oh, it's a wonderful program where we are partnering with several agencies. That's a prime example of partnering with several agencies that provide services to children and to schools and getting them in a collaboration to work with children before they're going to school, uh, after school programs. They've had a Saturday program where the children couldn't wait to go to school to take some courses on Saturday. This was over the summer. Um, it's, it's just got a wonderful um, cadre of different agencies talking to each other to help young children in school. And it's so, been extremely successful. So you've caused these uh, agencies to be working collaboratively mm -hmm. on, on this uh, goal together. What some of the agencies might be? There was, we've been, we facilitate the agencies. The agencies are already there and they yeah. do wonderful work. What we've tried to get the agencies to do, because we have no agenda, we, we intentionally provide no services because the services are out there, but we just want the agencies to talk together. And uh, Susan has a better handle on the, all the agencies that have been doing that. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club of Allentown oh, yeah. is yeah. a lead partner with uh, two of our schools in Allentown. Uh, communities, no, excuse me, uh, Communities in Schools yes. is a lead partner. Sure. Uh, the uh, Humanistic with, the, I'm sorry. Center for Humanistic Change. Center for Humanistic Change. Change. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> They're a lead partner. Uh -huh. And what they, they, they just act as the glue at the school and, as Dolores said, bring all of the resources together. So we really believe that if kids and their families have better interaction in a community place like a school, that it's going to bring more success for everybody. And so true. sometimes we start at 7 in the morning and we really try to work with uh, families and students until 7 at night with all of the various resources that are out there. And that and certainly illustrates the changes in the United Way. Are you absolutely. trying to stimulate this kind of... Uh, uh, how about the one that is the newest now, the uh, Youth Success Zone? Okay. We're very proud of that. That is another collaboration. Um, it's modeled somewhat after what's called the Harlem Children's Zone in Manhattan, where, where a group of people took, took back block by block parts of Manhattan to create an environment where children could thrive and not be afraid. We don't have a particular... Um, building that we're having of our own, what we focused on is a, a section, a community of Lehigh Valley 
um, in Allentown, in, in some of the most difficult um, impoverished areas, and we're focusing and getting the agencies again to look and collaborate to provide complete services. One of those items, for, hap for instance, is they have a hospital is providing a, a dental wagon, I'll call it, where they go to this particular school and in the morning they'll be there so that parents don't have to take a day off to take their child to the dentist, the dentist comes to them mm -hmm. and, and is there at the school for the child to be able to have dental treatment. And just efforts like that that are really working hard. We've hired an executive director that is now focused full time on and pulling these agencies together. And who is that? Alicia. Alicia Ruiz Orban. Who has been on taking the initiative several right. times. She right. has. For yes, various has. roles in the community and at the United Way. Yes. So she is directing that. Yes. And it's a nine block area that we're concentrating on in Allentown. And again, part of what we do is uh, about, all about accountability. So in this area, one of the things that impressed us so much about Harlem Children's Zone is the fact that they made sure that they were tracking these kids from the time they entered the program until they successfully completed their education. And so it isn't just a willy-nilly bit of programs and services, it's each actually working with individual children and their families to make sure they're getting what need to be, they need to be successful. I think it's really clear the changes that are happening in the United Way and how it operates with these uh, excellent examples. Uh, but it's also sort of traditional campaign time in communities all over the country. Uh, the 2009 campaign, uh, What's cooking? Well, we've had Andy Dobb as the chair of the campaign this year, and he is working hard getting his cabinet together, getting our message out, really trying to reach to many of our businesses. We have so many, 80% of our businesses in the Lehigh Valley are 100 or fewer people, and we're really working hard at reaching out to those individual businesses. You know, heretofore, we have reached out to the larger companies, but the larger companies are coming fewer and fewer, and you have many more smaller companies. So it's about the personal contact and it's reaching out to the, the individuals in those companies and getting them to get involved. With and people way. watching right now who, who own, manage, or work in those small companies uh, uh, could uh, help a lot by contacting the United Way right now, right? And they're every, every organization, every family in one way or another is somehow touched by United Way agency. And I don't think people always realize that, but one of their employees use our services, their family may use our services. I mean, there's many different things. And that's why we're trying to reach out to the smaller organizations and saying, we're here, we're your United Way. And every little dollar does count. And individuals can participate as well. Of course. Uh, uh, well, it's also Day of Caring Week. Uh, uh, what kinds of things are popping around Day of Caring Week? We work in partnership with the Volunteer Center so that anybody who's interested in doing some hands-on volunteer work can go on to our website, get to their website, and they can choose a project that they want to do. It's things like painting, gardening, fixing up, reading to kids. It's all sorts of wonderful activities that take place all across the Lehigh Valley so that uh, these agencies who need extra help have some hands-on assistance during this week of Day of Caring. And it's a great way to sort of lift up all the good work and Absolutely. all the good uh, things. Day of Caring is always my favorite part of the campaign. You want to add something there, Dolores? Well, I wanted to, that's, that's the beginning of our traditional campaign, but our campaign now is almost a year-round campaign in the fact that it's activities that go on the fall, activities that go on the spring, Annual. One of the things I do in, in my practice is I work with individuals who want to leave money to United Way because they want to endow their annual gift effectively. Mm -hmm. And so we, the United Way's activities are year-round now, and we work very hard at keeping them going year-round. It's not just a fall interaction. And I should have brought tonight, I have a picture from 2008 Day of Caring. Uh, of you, Susan, holding some children at our soup kitchen uh, 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 that uh, gave some kind of personal touch to the work that you make happen. And uh, we've got about a minute left here. What's on your heart to talk to the audience tonight as we're in the United Way campaign? Well, I feel like I do have the best job in the entire community. And being able to spend time with folks like you at the Soup Kitchen is pretty amazing. 
I hope that we can rally everybody in the community this year to consider donating. Uh, if everybody gave $1 a week, $52 for the year, we would be able to make, raise millions of dollars that would make so much difference in being able to help our most vulnerable citizens. And we make it as easy as possible by either going to our website or calling us. And we're there to accept any help. And this is when our community needs us most. It is. Our community needs you most now do participate in the 2009 United Way campaign. I want to uh, thank my guests not only for being here tonight, but, but, but for your fine work with us. And thank you for tuning in. And I hope you'll be with us again next Tuesday and Friday. Good night.